Hi, I'm Jeff Womack, jewelry designer with CultureJewelry.com. I'm going to show you how to make a chainmail bracelet using the European 4-in-1 style. This is one of the oldest and simplest styles of chainmail. In fact, most of the European chainmail armor you see in museums was made using the 4-in-1 style, the same style we're going to be using today. This is intended as a project for beginners. You don't need any experience, but you will need a few special tools. You're going to need two pair of small needle nose pliers. You can get these from most craft supply stores or from online vendors like RioGrande.com. It's very important to be sure you're getting pliers with smooth jaws. A lot of needle nose pliers have grooves inside the jaws for grip, but using those for chainmail like this will leave big ugly dents in your rings. A clasp. I recommend the lobster claw style clasp for this bracelet. These are also available from craft stores and from online jewelry suppliers. A flexible tape measure, the kind used for sewing. And rings. Sterling silver rings are available from a number of online vendors such as ringlord.com. What size to get? Rings have two important dimensions. Gauge, which is the thickness of the wire that the ring is made from, and the inside diameter. These two numbers are sometimes given as a ratio, the inside diameter divided by the gauge. The ratio helps illustrate how densely the rings will fit together. Too high of a ratio, and the final piece will feel loose and floppy. A lower ratio means the rings fit together more tightly and there's less flexibility, but too low and the rings won't fit together at all. For this project, I'm using 18 gauge rings with an inside diameter of 3.5 millimeters. 18 gauge is about 1 millimeter, so this gives a ratio of about 3.5. It would work as well with 4, but I wouldn't go much above 4.5 or below 3. How many rings? The pattern I'll be showing you is for a bracelet, but it's easily modified for a necklace or an anklet. Loop the tape measure comfortably around your wrist, or whatever, and measure the length. Subtract off one half an inch, or 13 millimeters, for the clasp. That's the length of your chain. Most commercial bracelets are about seven inches long, or 180 millimeters, so I'll be making about six and a half inches of chain. This pattern, with the 18 gauge 3.5 millimeter rings, works out to about 24 rings per linear inch, or about one ring per millimeter. I recommend getting an extra 10 or 15% because if you're like me, you're going to drop or damage a few rings as you go. Anyway, this totals to about 180 rings for a bracelet. Lastly is the chainmail assembly jig. This is an exclusive of culturejewelry.com. It consists of a piece of 2x4, two nails, two rubber bands, and two paper clips. Technically this is an optional tool whose function is to hold the piece while you work on it. And sure, you can make this bracelet without the jig, but using one makes it faster and easier. When you get the rings, they're going to look like this. In order to use them, they need to be opened like this. One pair of pliers in each hand and a gentle twist will open it. The opposite twist will bring it closed again after it's been added. Okay, step one. Take four rings and link them together so there's two in the middle and one at each end and attach them to the jig as shown. Step two. Take the pair of rings in the middle and slide the top one slightly off to one side and add two new rings through that top ring of the pair. For clarity, the new rings added in any given step will always be shown highlighted in gold. Step three. Add one new ring that passes through both of the rings that were added in step two. Step four. Now that we've gotten started, we need to turn it so we can keep working. Hold the rings carefully and unhook both paper clip hooks. Turn the piece 90 degrees and reattach one hook to the middle ring at each end. Step five. Add two new rings through the ring that was added in step three. Step six. Add one new ring through the two rings that were added in step five, and then move the paper clip hook onto this new ring. Now, repeat steps five and six over and 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 over until you reach the length that you figured out earlier. Step eight, adding the clasp. First, remove the bracelet from the jig. Connect the clasp to the very last ring that you added with one new ring. Now, go back to the end where you started and add one new ring to the middle ring at that end. This ring will be for the clasp to latch onto. And that's it. Wear your new bracelet and enjoy telling people about how you made it yourself. 
Thank you very much for watching. More information about Chainmail Jewelry, including instructions and a variety of patterns, are available online at culturejewelry.com.